Hello and welcome back to the recap for day five of season three of the Wreck of League. I almost tripped over my tongue there. So, we are slowly but surely, surely nearing the end of the season. I don't know why I can't talk today. Uh, so yeah, uh, match day six, uh, five has concluded. Uh, the rollover was a little bit uh, later than anticipated because I of me. I just wasn't very active during the weekend where the roll over to day six should have happened, so I apologize for that. And I hope that won't lead to any problems. Yeah, so let us take a look at the results for division three and their day six, uh, day five, i.e. it's always the day five, day six stuff. So first off, we have the Grim Dark losing one to two versus the Embracer of the Sun. So we have Bretonians. I couldn't think of the word there. I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> uh, winning 2-1 over the Gutter Runners. So, congratulations to our... Well, is that actually... It's. I'm starting to lose... Um, I'm starting to lose... What's the word? <laughs> it's really bad today. Uh, I just don't know anymore, at least in some parts, who is new and who is later in the team. So I wanted to. I know that the Embracer of the Sun, Cyber Knight, did come in later into the season, um, but I think the Grim Dark is a team that was in there from the beginning. So I don't know. It's uh, I can't talk. Let's just move on. So next we do have the Red Undead Redemption winning uh, three to zero against Post Op Pamela Stringsteen. So. We do have our undead team here, apparently quite significantly. Wow, that looks like a lot of... Well, no, that's two touchdowns. I thought that looks like three injuries, but it's three to zero. So congratulations to the undead team there. That's quite the result, I'd say. And yeah, next we do have the Portly Pounders winning 2-1 against the Brittle Brutes. And these are our new comets. So the Portly Pounders are a dwarf team that joined the the leak this day uh, because of a dropout that we had and he's just <clears throat> one, of, one of the ones I remember and I apologize if I forget anybody because I don't have good memory about stuff like this either way uh, yeah the dwarves won over Norse which can happen considering well there the Norse team has four team four day uh, four matches uh, of an advantage but dwarves are just very sturdy and don't get knocked around too easily so that uh, might be why that happened uh, so the the uh, game advantage wasn't enough for the Norse to uh, bring out a win there and last but not least we have Normanomicon tying their game against the Necrons so both um, Necromantic teams tying the game. And I think Norman Nomicon is a new team as well. The Necrons are newcomers as well. But isn't Norman Nomicon a new one as well? Because I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think they replaced um, Triple Nelson, which is why they're at 3 2 right now. I think that's what happened there. I'm not completely sure though. It's hard to, to see who replaced whom. But if we go back a day, uh, they should still be in here. Yeah, so we've Triple Nelson and Tall and Shiny. So I think Tall and Shiny were replaced by the Dwarves. And Triple Nelson were replaced by Norman Nomicon. And I'm very proud of myself that I can actually say that word without tripping up. And it makes me question why I tripped up earlier. So let us take a look at the leaderboard. In first place, still, we do have Marauder Shields with his Red Undead Redemption. In second place, we have the Norman Nomicon, uh, who are both tied, actually, in points. Uh, so that's pretty nice, I'd say. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, next, we do have the Embracer of the Sun, followed by Post-Op Pamela, Spring Post Pamela Springsteen and the Portly Pounders. And also the Brittle Brutes, so they're all in 203. And last but not least, we have the Necrons and the Grim Dark. So there's still two days left to be played, which means the first place isn't safe at all. <clears throat> Assuming both contenders for first place lose their matches and these guys win their matches, uh, there's still a lot of movement uh, left here. 
So yeah, good luck on everybody on their last matches there, and we'll move on to Division 2 now. And in Division 2, uh, there is a little bit of an unfortunate thing again. Oh, ah yeah, okay, now I understand why. Uh, there, there. So first of all, we need to confirm that, which I'm going to do last. So I need to go back to the subreddit and change something out. I was confused there. Okay, either way. Let's continue. Uh, we do have the gentleman's gentleman winning by conceit against Steven Spielberg and Co. Because the coach of Steven Spielberg and Co. apparently didn't show up for his matches. And I have contacted him now, trying to figure out if he quit the league. I know that he uh, also played in the RELG man, and he quit the league there, because I saw a post about it. Um, but I don't... So that might mean that he quit here as well, and he just have not told anybody about it. Once again, I'm... If that's the case, I'm a bit annoyed, as always, because if you're quitting, you might as well tell any somebody about it. But either way, congratulations to the gentleman's gentleman for... Taking their first win there, it's not probably as they would like it to be, but uh, it's still still a good thing that they got a win there, I think. Next we have American Snuff winning 3-0 over the Lich Knight Howlers, and the Lich Knight Howlers are a new team. Once again, it's the unfortunate thing with Divisions 2 and 3 with the dropouts that we've had there. I'm not happy about it, but I'm happy that we do have players that are willing to come in and play, even though they start at a disadvantage, and... Thank you all very much for that, really. And I hope they will stick around. So they, they had a little bit of a rough start, and uh, the Norse team probably apparently gave them actually not that much of a beating. They It's only nine armor breaks. Oh, also some fouling going on there, apparently. But looks like they were outplayed a little bit. But that can happen, of course. So next we do have the Boneyard Hillbillies winning 2-0 against the Nice Guys. So... Undead winning over Chaos. Oh, Chaos where we're living up. Happy Harry is indeed happy about that, I assume. But Cleet is here leveled up as well, so... Oh, they've got a death to take care of, though. And, yeah. It's a little bit hard to see what happened here. Okay, this probably is part of the reason why it looks like they beat up the Chaos team pretty badly. And that led to them... Yeah, basically... Probably losing the match because of missing players. It's uh, early the game chaos is really tough and So it, it can happen especially against a team like undead that starts off pretty strong from the get-go Yeah, so last but not least we have just a blork in the West I just I, I don't know why I like saying that name so much probably because it's it's written in proper orcish or for mo for the most part uh, playing one to one, uh, one, uh, one, one, one against Ratatonic, so Orcs versus Skaven. Okay, lots of expulsions, as it should be, so people are fouling. I like that. By now. But if we just take a look here, 46 blocks succeed against 18. That's just the Skaven playing the not so bashy game, while the Orcs apparently did do that fairly successfully. Okay, so let us take a look at the leaderboard and the current standings. And in first, we still have Motley with his Just Up Look in the West. And actually, congratulations to Ratatonic for ending his win streak. It's his first draw. It's still not a loss, but it's not a win either. So congratulations there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, next, we do have the Boneyard Hillbillies with, uh, in second place, followed by American Snuff in third. And then we do have Ratatonic and the Nice Guys in 5th, 4th and 5th place, but both the same record. And the last three places are all 1, 0 and 4. Uh, so we do have the Gentleman's Gentleman with their first win now. The Lich's Night Howlers, which replaced, I believe, um, the Dark Elf team from Zaz 75. And then we do have Porifold Z and his Lizardman, who is still to be determined if he's still in or not. I hope that he's still in and that we don't have to replace him and that it's just a temporary hiccup and there there's something went wrong but we at least at the top point of this recording we have to assume that he might be out unfortunately i don't like it but it's it, it is what it is um so before i forget it i mean i need to do this anyways i just went because i got confused here i just went into the uh, created the, the in the subreddit the, the day 
uh, the, the match day posts and I was confused as to why there was day six uh, five standing there still which means I didn't hit the button actually apparently and put posted a picture of this because I can't pay attention because it's late and I'm a little bit exhausted so ah uh, well okay <laughs> let us continue to division one here things will not be as discernible because three out of the four matches for day six have already been played but we'll get to that, maybe. So, first off, we have the Big Bogan Brigade winning 3-1 against the Crooked Rattlings. So that is the new Leroy Chaos team um, from Ibras against our um, volunteer, um, the, the Skaven. I can't think today. I don't know why it's so much trouble for me. I'm trying to think of the name. James Typhoon. There it is. Okay. So... The Chaos team taking the win there, and we also have the Pondosaurus winning 3-0 over the Greywood Guardians, so congratulations to Rob there. He's still hot on my heels, so I have a personal interest in seeing him in fail, but we'll, we'll see what, what happens there. Next, we do have uh, my game against uh, High Lord Salt's Trailer Trash, where I managed to win 2-1, and not allowing him to continue his trend from last season, where he beat me into a bloody pulp. He still destroyed one of my War Dancers, so... Shame on you. I don't know. Everybody's probably happy about that. And last but not least, the Avengers winning 2-0 to zero over the Longfinger Jacks. So, as I've said, taking a look at the leaderboard might not be that helpful because... Or won't say that much because we do have these matches played already. Uh, we might take a quick look here. So we have a tie, a win for the Avengers again, and uh, the Greywood Guardians winning as well. Which means, right now, I'm still in first place followed by Pondosaurus, and hot on their heels are the Greywood Guardians, who still also have a shot at first place, I believe. Then we do have the uh, Highlight Salt with Trailer Trashed, with the even split here, 2-2-2, two, two, and two. followed by Avengers and the Big Bogan Brigade with 2-1-3, and then we do have the Crooked Rattlings, James Typhoon, bringing in with one win and five losses and I don't know what happened with Srap this season he's really been having a hard time he commented on it I think on the last or the uh, one of the prior recaps it's just not this season has, had, has been catastrophic for him and he just can't get his feet on the ground again so we'll we'll see um, and maybe he can he can kill me now well because I was still the only one left to be played here but you'll have to watch the next recap for that and isn't that a segue? Okay, I'm still not too sure about these recaps, as you all know, and I'll need to figure out a way of doing this. It's been suggested that we could um, get different groups of people, if they're willing participants, that each do the recap for their own division, uh, something like that, which might be a good idea, but we'll have to see if we can organize that and uh, keep everything running there. So, yeah. This is where we're going to end today's recap. I hope you still enjoyed it, even though I had, once again, difficulties in talking. <laughs> if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see me play more, or want to see me play more Blood Bowl 2, or either want to hear me ramble more about in these recaps, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching. I hope that you will tune in next time, and have a nice day. Bye.